Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Tariq Ali from uh, smartbiketrainers.com. One of the first things athletes try to do when they get their first smart trainer is see if they can ride a real course indoor. Or at least that's one of the most common questions I get when someone gets a new trainer. Uh, there are plenty of apps with real stunning videos in HD and even 4K of some of the most beautiful and iconic cycling routes from around the world. And you can use these apps to ride these courses right from your own home with just your bike, smart trainer, and your TV screen or tablet. I've talked about some of these apps in this video right here and I'll have a link to it in the description below so make sure to check that one out. Uh, also a list of all the apps of that I talked about in that video and the one I didn't mention is also available on smartbytrainers.com so make sure to check out that website and I'll have a link to it in the description below as well. Okay, what if you want to ride a specific course, say from a local race that you want to do or an Ironman uh, race that you're preparing for and they made a change to the course or introduce a new venue and that course does not exist anywhere and you want to pre-ride it. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So there are many ways you can create a course and re-ride it indoors. You can create a course using GPS data from a ride that you did with your bike computer or you can manually create a course using one of the available tools out there like Ride with GPS or Strava. You can also create your own video course using a, a GoPro for example or an Insta360 camera and you can sync up the video with GPS data and upload it and create your own video route. But in this video and for time's sake I'm going to go over creating a course using Strava and uh, we, I'm going to use that course to rewrite it. The first app is Ruby. Unfortunately the route creator tool with Ruby is only available for Windows, not available for Mac so that limits a lot of us uh, from using it. But the cool thing about Ruby is they do have a huge library of routes uh, so if you are looking for a popular race or an Ironman race to pre-ride there is a good chance that you will find it in the library without having to create it yourself. And you might even find a video route rather than just a 2D map. In my case, I do not have a Windows machine to do this, so I ended up creating a bootcamp partition on my Mac to go to use the route creator. And uh, once you install the route creator, go ahead and log into your account, go to the route editor, and here you have the option to import your GPS data, import video on GPS, or manually create a route. You can use the route creator tool to create your route but in this video I'm just going to use Strava route creator and uh, build a quick demo route and download the GPX file. So to create a route in Strava, log into Strava from a web browser and from your dashboard click on my route then create a new route. I'm just going to create a quick route here and give it a name and description then click on export GPX. Now we have the GPX file that we are going to use. Uh, before I go any further, your riding experience will vary. There are a lot of variables that can play into your riding experience, such as your smart trainer, the GPS file that you use, and the quality of the GPS recording, and how the app process your file and smooth out the data and the elevation data. All these variables can play into your riding experience. Now back to Ruby Route Editor, when you click on import GPS data you should see a file browse menu and you can browse and select your GPX file. For some reason Windows uh, Video Recorder did not capture those pop-up menus but you should see it on your end. Once you import it you will see your full route. You can play around with the, all the different options if you want but I usually just give it a name, select a sport category and click on save route. Now you should see your route in the route tab. You can test ride it here or just upload it to the internet. Once you upload it, it will take time to process your route and you should get an email that your route is ready. And to ride it, just open Ruby. Now I am back on my iPad. Log into your account, go to route and click on created. And you should see the route that you just created with all the information such as elevation, average gradient and max gradient. The augmented option isn't going to matter here, so just leave it. Click on training and you will see a full map and elevation profile. You can zoom in and out of the map or switch to a satellite map if you would like. Uh, as you start pedaling, your little icon or that little me icon will start moving and off you go. Uh, you will see your slope displayed and uh, as you're moving, you will feel that resistance change to match the slope. Uh, let me know if you give Ruby a try. I would love to hear your experience uh, with it. The next app I want to talk about here is the Be Cool Simulator. Uh, go to BeCool.com and log into your web Be Cool account. Yeah, you need a premium account for this to work. Once you log in, go to Sessions and the Route, scroll to the bottom of the page. And on the left menu, you should see 
this link that says can't find any routes you can create one from scratch click on that and click on uh, from file and upload your gpx file now give it a name and description and uh, i'm just going to type this is a test gps route for my youtube channel leave the password thing alone and click on accept that's it now just wait for the route to be created in the menu on top if you go to scheduled you should see your route there and it is ready to write in 2d but be cool has a 3d option and let's see if we can create a 3d route out of this and to do this uh, if you click on the uh, little c icon and click on the route name it should open up a new page uh, with the route details if 3d options available for your route you will see create 3d route button up here click on it and it will start the process for you and you will get an email once your route is available in 3d it took about 30 minutes to get the email uh, telling me that the route is ready so uh, let's take a look at it and to find the route log into the be cool app on your mobile device or your desktop and under that main page browse all the way down and you should see programmed section and yep here it is click on it and uh, here you see some details about the route under settings uh, you can change the default view from a 3d terrain map to a 2d map but let's leave it a 3d map because this is what we want to look at and this is cool you can turn on real weather data and wind and it should download real weather data for you uh, for that specific location so today here it is sunny and according to the weather forecast the wind is from the north at five miles per hour so let's see if we have that same data here so here's a start screen uh, you are supposed to stop pedaling to start your ride i guess that option is there to give you uh, the options to warm up before starting your ride so here it is a 3d version of the route the terrain is just some default 3d terrain they seem to use on most routes so you're not seeing real terrain and landmarks for example i have no cow crossing signs anywhere in this route a lot of deer signs but definitely no cows also there is, should be a bridge underpass here but as you see there is nothing but overall i think it's pretty cool and much better than just looking at a 2d map I'm using the iPad here to run the app and here's a list of all the gestures that you can do. So if you want to change from a 3D view to a map view, just swipe left or right on the screen. So keep in mind the 3D option is not available for all route. Be cool takes your GPS data and compares it to third party GPS data they have and if they find anything that might look suspicious or does not look right or differ, differ significantly from the GPS data they have, then they consider your file as invalid or corrupt and reject it. However, it will still be available in 2D. Give it a try and let me know what you think. You have to have a premium account and you can try their Be Cool app for free for 30 days. Finally, the last app I want to talk about here is the Tax Training app. This is limited to tax trainers only unfortunately. So if you have a Wahoo Kicker, then hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video or continue to watch because this might change soon. Uh, they did introduce an ANT plus FEC options on their desktop version. It is in beta and I didn't get a chance to test it. The ANT option should give you the ability to use it with other trainers such as Wahoo, hopefully. Okay, Tax made the process very simple. First, you do need to have a premium account to use the GPS route feature and to create the route, log into your account on cloud.tax.com or go to create a workout and you will see two options import from Strava or import a GPX file so let's just use the same GPX file and that I created in Strava uh, by the way this feature only works with Strava GPX file so even if you have a GPX file say from ride with GPX it won't work with the tag software so it looks like I already have a route that I created uh, from a while ago uh, I did stop at a gas station during that ride and I grabbed a bunch of cashew hence the name casual ride okay here I'm in the app you will see your ride under workout and here it is it looks pretty amazing I think uh, I love the fly overview I think it looks pretty slick you can zoom in and out all the way out to see your full route tap the map arrow icon to bring you back okay this is it let me know if you decide to use any of these apps to reroute a route and let me know what you think and your experience 
Uh, remember, both Ruby and Be Cool provide a free trial, so you have the freedom to try each one out before committing. Tax does provide a free 30-day trial to their software when you purchase a new tax trainer, uh, and all these apps have the desktop versions as well. I have all that information on smartbytrainers.com, so make sure to check that one out. I know I didn't mention every app that you can use to pre-ride your own course, so let me know in the comments section if you prefer to use a certain app that I did not mention here. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Uh, remember to subscribe and share it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.